Welcome to the Beehive Blitz. Week 8 is upon us. Teams jockeying for playoff seedings. Region titles also on the line. Yeah, we had a real good matchup mm. in Region 3. East High hosting Harriman. in the Mustangs undefeated in region play going into tonight. And what a defensive battle this was. Let's talk about sacks. Sacks? Sacks! We're going to talk about sacks. Monacula <laughs> busts through sacks. Isaac Zimmerman. Let's talk about more sacks. It's Tuiaki Tuiono sacking Jackson James. No touchdowns in the first half of this one. Just this 46-yard field goal by Caden Seidel. 46-yarder, that would have been good from 56. Wow. Fourth and two for East, trying to get something going at the end of the first half, but Harriman stuffs it. But East comes back and pulls it out at home. The final 13 to 10. Sione Angelau with the game-winning 29-yard touchdown run for the Leopards. Oh, sacks. I thought you said sacks. something else. Hey, another big showdown in Region 3. Bingham at Riverton, the Miners, with the ball. Give it to Preston Larson. He gets to the outside. Going to turn on the burners, and he is gone. Larson somehow stays inbounds. Oh. Goes 80 yards down the sideline for the touchdown. Bingham takes the lead. Back come the Silver Wolves, though. Seth Davis from three yards out. Score it. Riverton back in the game, but it was all Bingham after that. Mason Christensen pounds it in from a yard out, and Bingham runs away after that. Final score, 34-13. The Miners win. Isaiah Glasker had a touchdown catch and a punt return for a touchdown. Let's head out to Alta High. The Hawks taking on Lehigh. Alta punting from its own end zone, and McKay Wall going to field it near midfield for Lehigh. He's going to cut it back. And no one's going to knock down this wall. McKay Wall takes it back 50 yards for the touchdown. Lehigh scoring early and often in this one. Alta trying to hang in there. Quarterback Cinco Lucero zings it over the middle to Jaden Kinnersley. That's a pickup of 30. Alta in business, and that sets up Lucera to Halatel Mani on the slant over the middle. Touchdown, Hawks, and they rally for 20 wow. points in the fourth quarter to pull it out. 34 28 the final. Cinco Lucero had Cinco touchdowns. Three <laughs> through the air, two on the ground. Nice. Let's keep it going with Olympus High trying to stay atop Region 6. The Titans hosting Hillcrest tonight, and Oli striking early. Quarterback Frankie Goodson on the keeper, up the middle, takes it in from nine yards out. Seven nothing Titans. Later in the first, Goodson goes to the air, hits Christian Peterson in the flat. He takes it all the way. 21 yards on the touchdown pass. The Titans were rolling, and the defense doing its thing. The big stuff here, right at the goal line. This looked like it was a safety, but the referee said no. Down at the half inch line, the Titans come over. Come up big, as Titans can do. They, can. they win it. 42-14, final score there. Frankie Goodson had two touchdown passes and rushed for another. Home coming up at Logan High. The Grizzlies hosting Skyview. The Bobcats in control of this one. Quarterback Kaysen Carlson, another fantastic game. Keeps it himself, takes it down to about the 11-yard line. That sets up Carlson, swinging it over to Kaysen Flaherty. It's the Kaysen Dication Show. Skyview on top. Logan trying to give the home fans something to cheer about. On homecoming, Ethan Wilson keeps it himself, takes it in for the touchdown, but way too little, too late for the Grizzlies. The final score, 42-14. Case and Carlson, five touchdown passes for Skyview. All right, time now to bring in the man who can literally do it all. He anchors, he reports, he shoots. He scores. <laughs> it's Rick Aaron. You were up in Davis County, weren't you tonight? Yeah, you know what they say, jack of all trades, master of none. Well. But Woods Cross <laughs> won their first five games to start the season before back-to-back -back losses to Farmington and Bonneville. Tonight, the Wildcats trying to rebound against the box elder bees. Scoreless in the first quarter when sophomore quarterback Luke Hyde floats a pass to Carson Miller, who turns the corner and takes it all the way down to the seven yard line before he's pushed out of bounds. Woods Cross fans tickled pink about that play. And one play later, they'd be even happier because it's Hyde throwing to his right again. Braden Freestone goes up to get it and gets over the goal line for a four yard touchdown. This one was tight, but Woods Cross holds on 27 to 24 to snap their two game losing streak. Miller had two touchdowns on the ground for the Cats. It was costume night at Bountiful. There's a little Utes cheerleader, and that is just adorable. And there's a little BYU cheerleader with a meat cleaver. And that is just terrifying. The Braves led Viewmont 10-0 in the second quarter when Peyton Beck fires over the middle to Payson Hadley, who makes the grab for some first down yardage. But the clock is ticking down towards halftime. 
So on comes Micah Pettit to try a 44 yard field goal. Puts the boot into it. It's up and just over the crossbar with a few feet to spare. He connected on two field goals as Bountiful wins it 29 to 3. Beck and Jared McCann each ran for a touchdown for the Braves. Both teams now 3 and 5 on the season. Next week, Bountiful visits Farmington and Viewmont hosts Woods Cross. Wes and Dana, back to you guys. A cheerleader is going to haunt me in my <laughs> dreams, I think. You know, we are nowhere near done on this edition of the Beehive Blitz. Not even close, bud. <laughs> We've got a ton of action to show you, including a rivalry showdown between Highland and Skyline. Stick around for more Blitz.